The rebuilt Berlin Palace on Spray Insel in the historic center of Berlin is home to the Humboldt Forum. The concept is designed to bring together collections from all over the world in memory of the spiritual legacy of the Humboldt brothers, provide areas for science and culture, and deliver information about the history of the palace. In autumn 2020, an LTM 1500-8.1 owned by MobiHub completed a job in the center of Berlin in front of a large crowd. The eight-axle crane placed the magnificent cupola on the new Humboldt Forum. The reconstruction of Berlin Palace, which was destroyed several years ago, has been undertaken to restore Berlin's historic cityscape. The public watched the cupola being hoisted by the eight-axle crane with great interest. It had been set up with a 42-meter luffing lattice jib and 90 tons of ballast to enable it to hoist the filigree load to a height of 70 meters. Welcome to the second edition of our Upload Video Magazine in 2023. In the last issue, we reported on new equipment and innovations at Bauma. Today, we'll take a look at maintenance, servicing, and repairs. After about a year of construction, the repair center here has now been in operation for a good half year. We're now standing here in the new repair center for southern Germany in Berg. And with me are Bernd Rechtsteiner, head of used cranes, Harald Hummel, service manager for Central Europe, and Andreas Leicht, who manages the new repair center here. Harald, why was a new facility built here? The new building and grounds mean we can offer an even more flexible and capable service than before. The previous location of the repair center at the main plant will be used to build a new spare parts warehouse. That will increase the availability of spare parts massively. This combination will enable us to respond more flexibly and quickly for our customers. It also means that we can now repair large cranes without any problems. We now have the space and manpower to provide all the capacity we need. The large test yard immediately next to the repair center is another major factor in this respect. In this way, we will also be considerably faster in the used crane business. A big advantage is that despite the new location, we are still directly affiliated to our main plant in Eingen, which is only five kilometers away. Also, our experts in the design and production departments can provide fast support if we have any questions. That creates perfect conditions for us, even if we are facing complex repair work. In addition to repairs, maintenance is another major aspect of the repair center. What are the innovations here? We have established a special service area in the shed for maintenance work. The installation of a filling and disposal facility means that we have state-of-the-art equipment that complies with the very latest environmental regulations. It also means that we can accept maintenance work at short notice for our customers without them having to arrange appointments months in advance. We have already had customers who, after carrying out a job, for example at Legoland in Günzburg or at the Stuttgart Volksfest, have called in here on their way back to base. That saves our customers time and money, maintains the value of their cranes and also protects the environment. How does the new repair center affect the repair process? The new repair center makes our repair process faster, more effective and more flexible. In general, we decide where a crane should be taken for repair on the basis of capacity, the complexity of the damage and the size of the crane. Some cranes require repairs which aren't technically possible at other sites or require a really large volume capacity and resources. These are now brought from all over the world to our new repair center at Eingenberg, even though our focus here is on customers in Europe. And are some cranes also repaired outside Eingen? Indeed, we have two other time-tested repair and service sites in Germany, at Oberhausen and in Altborg. We also have service outlets all over the world. We have a presence in all our main markets, for example in the USA, where we recently opened another repair workshop in Newport News. And we're still striving to improve our global service. Since early summer, we have also had 20,000 square meters of storage space, very close to the port in Bremerhaven, where we can store part-exchanged large cranes or parts of them temporarily. 
When we resell them, we ship them directly from there. That helps to prevent crane tourism, which relieves the strain from both the roads and the environment. And it also means that we've significantly reduced the transport costs for our customers. The used crane market is another important segment for Liebherr. How does the new repair center affect this? We are the largest used crane dealer in the world, with 250 to 300 machines sold annually. We are observing a trend that is moving significantly towards larger cranes being used in part exchange. Over the last 10 years, we've bought, refurbished and resold more than 130 large machines. And by that I mean telescopic cranes over 750 tons and lattice boom cranes of 350 tons and over. The new repair center will deliver major relief in this respect. Used grains open up completely new markets for us. Quality, lower prices and immediate availability as well as sustainability are some major arguments in favor of buying a used crane. The first three large cranes we accepted in part exchange have already been refurbished at the same time at the new repair center and delivered to new customers. These cranes will mainly be used in Brazil, Australia and the USA in the wind industry. And we plan to significantly expand this segment in the future. Therefore, to our customers, contact us regardless of whether you want to send us a damaged crane for repair, refurbishment or a used crane in part exchange. Thanks to all three of you for these insights. And now we'll take a look at operations and servicing in Poland. Let's start by visiting our head office in Poland. Today we're at Liebherr Polska's headquarters in Rudyshlanska. We also have branches near Warsaw, in Gdansk and in Poznan. The Polish market is developing very dynamically. It's one of the most important markets in Europe for the Liebherr Group. I think that Liebherr Polska's biggest advantage and strength lies in its excellent service. Let's take a look at some operations, starting with some rough terrain cranes. We are now in Stachin, in the oldest part of the Stachin harbor. My department is responsible for all the equipment used for reloading various goods. Liebherr cranes are used for general cargo, mainly for transferring granite between ships, but also for unloading roll trailers onto the port site and loading from the site onto trucks. Liebherr cranes are also in demand in the wind power sector. We are at the Schnindomaslavik wind farm where 27 V100 wind turbines with 120 meters height and 2 megawatt of power are being built. We have four Liebherr cranes on the construction site. There is a 500T crane to carry out the pre-installation and also two new cranes, an LTM 1300-6.2 and an LTM 1230-5.1 for unloading purposes. We also have an LTM 1160-5.2. During my four-year career at Lewandowska, where I worked only with Liebherr cranes, I became accustomed to the fast service they provide for our cranes. Liebherr service has always eliminated any faults smoothly and efficiently. When we think about advances in crane construction, the first thing that comes to mind is longer booms, higher lifting capacities and more advanced crane control. But we're also continuously working on improvements that are not always immediately apparent. Our objectives include higher quality, a longer service life, economy and greater comfort for you, the crane contractors and operators. Currently, we're looking at changing the gearbox oil for superstructure drive units. 
What we mean by this is the pump distributor gear, the slewing gear, and the hoist winches, as well as the travel drives on crawler cranes. The new oil bears the name Liebherr Sintogear Plus 220 and replaces the existing Liebherr Gear PG 220. It's a fully synthetic, high-performance PAO-based gearbox oil. Polyalpha olefin fluids are synthetic hydrocarbons which are designed to provide outstanding lubrication over a wide range of temperatures. The oil is even suitable for grains subjected to extremely low temperatures, down to minus 40 degrees. This allows us to use the same oil for all temperature ranges worldwide. Such a massive change involving so many crane models requires a great deal of planning. We've conducted tests to ensure that the new oil is not harmful to our drive units here at the plant, and this has also been confirmed by external laboratories. The switch must be well documented and traceability must be guaranteed. In fact, we receive many components from suppliers that are already filled with the oil. During the shipment assembly, the levels undergo a final check and the components are topped up with oil if necessary. We can identify gearboxes which contain the new oil via information signs, so we can ensure that the correct oil is placed in the components throughout the entire production process. Currently, around half of our crane models are being supplied with the new gearbox oil. More types will follow little by little. It's also possible to switch cranes to the new oil after delivery. But one thing you must take care not to do is to mix the different oil types. To round off this issue, we have a special report. An LTC 1050-3.1 was recently allowed to return to its birthplace here in Eingen and show what it can really do. Today's task is the assembly of an overhead crane using the LTC 1050-3.1. This overhead crane weighs five and a half tons, which is child's play for the LTC. It can manage far bigger tasks. I added an erection jib to the crane and a hook traverse is attached to this. In addition, there's a pulley head that can be mounted. The advantage of the folding jib with hook traverse is that I can get quite close to the ceiling inside halls, for example, just as I'm doing here to assemble the overhead crane. Another highlight is the elevating cabin. In other words, the driver simply works at a height of 6 meters and can directly see the work area and slinging point. That's it for today, and I'm already looking forward to the next issue when we'll be taking a close look at the first assignment for the new 2500-ton truck. See you soon!